every clutch has to have a fiber washer. I do not want the bronze riding against the steel because it will wear the bronze. The bushing always sticks through. The bushing will always stick through 60 to 70 thousandths past the sprocket. So if you didn't have it there, you might have the, the drum rub against the dust cover. This assures me that it is not going to rub because this is 30 thousandths thick. So this will add 30 thousandths to the 60 to 70. So I'm almost 100 thousandths away from having the drum ever rub on the dust cover and make noise. So that, so there'll always be a fiber washer. They'll dry up over time. The oil, the oil light bushing, 15% of the oil light bushing is the oil that's impregnated in that bushing. The centrifugal force throws it out and the heat dries it up. So it's, it's very important to lubricate that clutch not when you're going out on your ride. When you're done with your ride is when you lubricate the clutch. Because when you see the, the little bit of oil light bushing sitting here, when it's on the mini bike, if you just drip some oil here, that oil light bushing, when it's warm, will suck that oil in like a sponge. So you don't oil it before you go out, because if you oil it before you go out, the minute the clutch spins, it throws it off. So you do it when you're done, same thing for the chain. When the chain is warm, it'll absorb that oil and get around the pins. The oil I recommend never to use is any synthetic oil. Anything with Teflon or silicone in it is a godsend for me because you're gonna ruin the clutch. Silicone, Teflon are anti-friction ingredients. They're great internal engine oils. But for a clutch or a brake system, you need friction form to work. So you do not want to use any oil with Teflon or silicone in it because they're anti-friction. So a straight 30 weight petroleum based oil is what you should always use to lubricate the bushing. So, and it only takes three or four drops right where you see the snap ring to get right behind the snap ring to the oil light bushing, it'll suck it in like a sponge, like I said. So that's where you lube it. If you want to take it apart and put some grease in those three grooves that are in the bushing, that's ideal too. You won't have to lube it as often with the grease. This is a typical, typical spring in the clutch made for the worst engine, which was Tecumseh. Tecumseh went and idled at 2,000 to 2,100. So we had to have our clutches start coming in at 2,300. Briggs and Stratton idled 16 to 1,800. We used to have the clutches come in at 2,000. This is 21, 20, or 2,300. This is 2,500. This is 3,000. And this is 1,800 again, back to 1,800. If I know somebody has a Honda engine, this is a spring I'll put in there. Or, if they verify and tell me exactly what the engine is idling at, I'll dial a clutch in 200 RPM above what he tells me is his idle. And these machines right here, I was saying to Tim, they're older than his parents. This is a 1913 machine. Barbara, they're all Barbara Coleman, but this is 1913, and that's a 1909 over there. These are hobbers. These put the teeth on the sprocket. We do nine sprockets at a time. Tyrone is my key man. Tyrone has been with the company longer than I've owned it. Right out of high school, he started with Max Torque. But here's the, this, this hob is working its way down towards the front and it's putting the teeth on the sprocket and there's nine sprockets on that arbor. This machine here is where we go walk down with a file and take the burr as it's going through it, it's putting a burr on the inside. This deburrs it. 
He just walks down, hits every one of the sprockets, puts the file on this side because I cannot have any burrs when it gets heat treated. It, the chain would not be able to get down in there. There's like 4,500 sprockets when this drum is three quarters full. There's 4,500 sprockets in there. It takes, he does about a thousand sprockets a day per machine. And then they go off to the heat treater after he gets done with them. Huge thanks to Max Torque Clutches for allowing us to come in their facility and film. And also a huge thanks to Go Power Sports for hooking the whole adventure up. Make sure to check the links in the video's description where you can find yourself a Max Torque Clutch. They're high quality and American made. And it's nice to be able to support an American ran company. Thank you guys for watching, we love you, and God bless.